Welcome to the Young Filmmakers Project. I'm Nick Bull. Today we'll be watching films made by Vancouver Public School students. Every high school and most middle schools have video production programs where students learn how to shoot and edit video, write scripts, build graphics, and do live shows. While they're doing all of that, they're also building teamwork skills like communication, problem solving, and more. These programs are part of the district's career and technical education department. Our first film is a funny science fiction film about the sport of thumb wrestling. It was made by students at Columbia River High School. Check it out. And that's it for the weather. Back to you. Thanks for that, Isaac. Now, in today's news, everybody knows about thumb wrestling, but we have located a secret underground thumb wrestling league. We have a reporter there now. Let's go to him. Here we are for the underground thumb wrestling semifinals. Hopefully we'll be able to see Charles, who's been on a rampage in the underground wrestling community. We've been given this location by one of our viewers who gave us a tip. Oh, there's Charles now. Charles, Charles, can we get an interview? Ah, just give me a second. All right, we'll get an interview with him after the match. Here we are inside. Looks like everything's all set up and ready to go. And there it is, folks. Charles easily defeats him. And here we are with Charles after his easy victory over his opponent. Charles, tell me, have you always been this good? La well, um, everyone starts from the beginning, right? Wow. That's very interesting. So tell me, how did you get this good? Th thumb workouts. Care to elaborate? No. Well, thank you, Charles. Take a look. Get out. The championships tonight. The championships tonight. Should I go? But I could hurt him. But I'll retire after this match. I just did stab someone in the eye though. I'll just win it fast. But if I hurt him, I'll be disqualified. I'll be fine. Hey, where's my opponent? Hi folks, here we are for the Thumb Wrestling Championship. Let's go inside and see what's going on. Wait, where, where is the phone? Oh yeah, by the way folks, I'm the next challenger. 
It's time for you to lose. I've studied all your moves through my reporting. Okay, sure. You know the rules, you know the rules. All right, players down together, let's go. Let's keep it clean, let's keep it fair. No injuries tonight, boys. There's no way I can lose. Lost by disqualification! We have our winner! Call an ambulance! We're out. And now for sports. Charles, the underground thumb wrestler, was recently defeated. He was disqualified by injuring his opponent. Charles hasn't been heard of for a long time, and we're wondering where he is. If you have any information, please contact us. And that's the news. Thanks for watching. All right, great work, guys. And now I am joined by the filmmakers. Gentlemen, thank you for being here. First. Why don't you introduce yourselves? Um, I'm Mitchell. I directed and edited most of it. I'm Kyle. I help with sound design. I'm Isaac. I wrote the script. And we obviously saw you in the film. Yeah, I well. acted. <laughs> um, this movie was a collaboration, I'm told, between you guys, video production students, and also a uh, writing class. Could you kind of talk about that project and how it worked? So um, we were given a list of scripts from the sci-fi class, and then we were asked to choose from one. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we could do a little bit of revising, and that was like Isaac's job. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we just made a movie out of it. Okay, Isaac, how hard was it to take somebody else's work and kind of make it right for film? Um, I think it was easier than actually just writing something like off the top of my head from because I had some I had a place to start, you know, mm -hmm. and so I could just easily go down and base it off each scene, base it off, and change a little bit to what we need. Sure. So sci-fi probably a lot of inspirations here. Who, what did you lean on when you were thinking about how to make this movie? Were there any movies or other inspirations you, you were looking at when you were trying to make this movie? Um, I was just mostly like, um, you could kind of see in the movie, there was, I was inspired to make something that reflected on the last two years of my uh, film. Mm -hmm. And so half of it was funny and half of it was very serious. And you can kind of just tell the tone based on how it was shot. Sure. Like, could you give me an example? like? Um, whenever it's like letterboxed, so the um, news scenes are quite funny, I used to think, and then um, everything else where it's him learning how to like get his thumb, and then um, all those scenes are a little bit more serious, and have a little bit of a darker tone. Sure. So there's a bit of a contrast, and that was like my inspiration was to have something that did both. Um, how much planning went into this film? I mean, obviously you worked with the writer, but then you had to take all that. So how much, how much planning did it take? How long did it take you to actually put all this together? Um, I think we spent most of the time that we had working on the script and planning out what we were going to do mm -hmm. and we shot it in a lot less time than we worked on planning. So tell me about the sound design. That was that was your job. What, what did that entail? Well, just finding uh, sound effects and music to put into a movie to make it uh, feel more like a movie. Mm -hmm. um, just like thumbs breaking and, and uh, different types of music, funny or uh, serious and dramatic. It's just... Sure. 
Well, along those lines, talking about like the mishmash of styles, you, you've got new stuff, but you've also got like a sci-fi movie. You've also got kind of like a sports movie. Was that something you were kind of cognizant of when you were making the movie? Um, yeah, our original idea was um, sort of like a news YouTube, like a YouTube style documentary. Uh -huh. And so we figured it'd be easier to do more of like a live story um, as we started planning. So it definitely was kind of sportish. Mm -hmm. And I think that'd be a little bit more fun. So. What do you guys have to say about that? Yeah, we've been talking about doing a documentary for a while. We wanted to kind of do that style, but it just wasn't working with how the script was going. Mm -hmm. So we just went with the news, and it, it worked really well. We liked it. Sure. Um, how hard is it to pair comedy and sci-fi? Because those two don't often go together in film. Um, I think it's not as hard. Um, I think I'm a pretty like comedical guy. So um, I think you can get some really interesting situations, mm -hmm. and you can get some of a lot of... Um, a lot of irony in it, like um, at the end when he was everything was super exciting, and he every, like um, the newscaster was about to like get really excited to, because he was gonna about to win, mm -hmm. and then it just stopped right there because he broke his thumb. Sure. And so I thought that was really funny because it was it led up to this big thing, and then just stopped right there, and that was it. So. How many thumbs did you guys break during the filming <laughs> of this movie? No thumbs were breaking. No thumbs were broken. Okay, good. You need to put a little thing at the end of the <laughs> credits. No thumbs were broken. Uh, you guys are obviously video production students. What is it that you like about taking those kinds of classes? Uh, just the, the freedom, artistic freedom to... Just, it's hard to explain. It's just, I just really like making movies, mm -hmm. and it's, it's really fun to do it with my friends because uh, it is a group project. You can't really do it by yourself. You have to uh, do it with your friends or your peers sure yeah um, most classes like kind of streamline you and mm -hmm. video production it's very like you have this thing to do go out and do it you know mm -hmm. do your best and then we'll, like teachers can help and um, I think like the tools that are given are very useful and mm -hmm. so learning how to use those in a practical way tools nice. like tools like cameras mm -hmm. and computers or tools like time management things like that I think all of that actually um, I've like out of anything I think I've learned a lot of time management from video production learning when to start the script, learning how long to put in that, how long shooting will take, how long editing will take. All that I've learned from uh, video production and then learning also how to use a camera, write a script, all that stuff too. Sure. Working towards future maybe career mm -hmm. career goals here. How about, how about you? Yeah, I just like working with these guys. It's just super fun making movies and uh, I learned a lot. I, I didn't really know a lot about filmmaking when I started taking the class, but these guys were already in it and I learned a lot and I just had a really great time doing it. Do you think you're going to pursue this perhaps as a career? I mean, you guys are all now high school graduates. Do you think you might pursue this as a career, or is this just something on the way to something else? Um, I definitely think I would. It'd be a cool idea to be, you know, almost Hollywood. Mm -hmm. um, I think it'd also be fun to have the idea of being able to take people's ideas and put it into movies, um, doing music videos, doing anything that I can really sure. to help um, improve my style would be really fun. Mm -hmm. uh, as much as I enjoy, I think I'm going to do other things. Sure. How about you? I think I probably might do other things. I enjoy writing, though. That's why I really like doing the class. So I don't know. Maybe I'll write scripts. I'll just see what happens. Yeah. So, guys, thanks for coming in. I really appreciate it, and I look forward to seeing the movies you make if you make more movies. Thank you. Thank you. Our next film also comes from Columbia River. It is a science fiction film, too, about an unusual, although somewhat trivial, superpower. Really? Stop looking at the cat. Breakfast is ready.
Hey man, you gotta check this out. What is it? I think I have superpowers. What? I have superpowers. So like, what's your superpower? Like, super strength, teleportation, what is it? I can see people's text messages. Huh, I mean, that's kind of cool, I guess. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so what are they talking about? They're talking about their girlfriend. Yeah, that's that's what they're talking about. Whoa, that's actually kind of cool. Okay, so what about them? They're talking to their mom. Awesome. So, what are they talking about? I'm not sure if I should be doing this. I mean, uh, isn't this invasion of privacy? Well, I don't know, maybe, but come on, man, it's cool. No, I don't want to. All right, man. I'll see you after school. Nice job, guys. Our next film is called Slice of Life and is about having a positive outlook. Check it out. Can I get the special? Sure. It's half off if you tell me a story. Well, I'm a college student, and I just moved away. The hardest part about moving was leaving my dad. Man, I sucked at it, but he didn't care. My dad was always so supportive. He was such a big part of my life, 
and will always be my inspiration. I'll miss him so much. Well, you're always welcome here to eat and chat. Here you are. Thank you. What you need, boss? Hey, uh, I'll just get the special today. Sure. You got a story, it's half off. Uh, yeah, I got a story. So, um, just the other day, well, I love my dog. Sometimes he gets out of hand, though. I spent all day looking for him. I had thought I had lost all hope. But there he was, waiting for me. Well, oh, I'm glad you found your dog. Hey, thanks, man. Have a good day it. now. This is a beautiful shop, man. How'd you get it? Well, a long time ago. I wasn't really in a good place in my life. I felt pretty lucky and I just hoped. What can I do for you today? Our final film is a silent movie called Nowhere Man. Take a look. Good 
d'un coup, on fait silence, on fait silence, à quoi se passe-t-il just about out of time. Remember that you can always see past episodes of the show on the district's YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash vanisdtv. Just look for the Young Filmmakers playlist. Thank you for watching the Young Filmmakers Project. Until next time, I'm Nick Vole.